Alright, story time. Some of you may or may not know that I was on American Horror Story. And, um, how I got that job. Because I was wearing a mask, so you can't see it. How I got that job was through a background agency called Central Casting. Right across the street is Extra Management in Burbank. Uh, they did, they go all the way back from Return of the Living Dead, which was directed by Dan O'Bannon, okay, starring Linnea Quigley, who played Trash. Okay. And uh, I met Linnea, friends with Linnea, and um, she's cool. She's very cool. But um, they did central casting as the ones that did the zombies. All the zombies for Return of the Living Dead were <laughs> from central casting. But uh, I was on American Horror Story, and I, I was the devil for Flops. Flops was played by a woman. And I was her height, so they casted me as a, as a, as a stand, a double, basically double. And what we did was we had to basically stab Cher's son to death. Um, I think his name is Bono. He was very nice. Evan Peters was kind of a dick. I used to really like him, but. Uh, I said hi to him. He just ignored me. He was three trailers down from me. Three trailers down. He had his blue hair. This was for cult. Cult. Central Casting calls me and says, Are you scared of clowns? And I said, No. And they said, Okay, we want, there's a bunch of clowns in this season. Cult. And we want you to play flops. I thought I was actually going to play flops with character, character lines. I was so excited now. And uh, <laughs> I threw up in front of the director, the creator of American Horror Story, and Evan Peters. I threw up in front of them. They didn't help me. They didn't care. But um, I got sick wearing that mask all day. The crew didn't even like being there. Like The crew were like, I don't watch this stupid show. I don't even watch TV. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty messed up. But um, the only person that you know who seemed really cool was Cher's son, Bono Bono. He was really nice. He said hi. He said hi to us right away. Not only that, but one of the other clowns, like, was talking to himself. I mean, I um, I was saying, I started around right now, like, like not joking. I said hi to him, and he went, "Hey, how you doing?" I was like, "I don't So these people, the background, you don't know who these people are. The writers there to write, the directors there to direct, the actors there to act. Who's the background? Who are these people? They just take anybody. I could have killed. I wasn't going to. I'm not going to. I'm not even think about it. I'm just saying, I could have killed, killed Evan Peters. I could have just went in there and just strangled him. No one was paying attention. This is a big show, American Horror Story. And I'm thinking, I can kill Evan Peters. No one would expect it. And I got a mask and everything. <laughs> you know. But, um... Also, I want you to know about the realness of it. I'm nowhere in my career really you know I'm you know people that like me would say I'm somebody you know you are really I'm not in the industry's eyes I'm nobody I've went into the asylum studios who do Sharknado and they said I came in there to pitch a movie and they said we don't know you you could be a homeless person on the street I went into Blumhouse Pictures. They didn't want to take my idea, but guess what they're doing a remake of? The Thing. 
but I have no. They want. They want to. They want to see that people will watch my stuff. Wow, to rent out a a fucking ho a theater for one showing in Claremont, four hundred dollars, four hundred dollars just for that, just for that. I was on Call of Duty Black Ops for Activision. Rupert Sanders met Rupert Sanders, who did Ghost in the Shell, Activision. I call up Activision, see how everybody's doing, and they say, "Oh, Rupert Sanders is is um <laughs> is directing a new movie, you know, um, uh, Witch and the Hudsman with Queen Jane Stewart." Well, they end up fucking, and he has a family. She was with Edward hmm, from Twilight. That's what broke him up. <laughs> they fucked. Rupert knew who I was. He knew my name. But I don't get any work. But Christine Stewart gets work. Why? I think it's because she has a pussy. I don't. But if I had a dick, and he liked, I mean, if I, well, I do have a dick, but if, 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 you know, if he liked a dick, I probably would have got a part. I've talked to actors and talked to them about certain movies that had, that had actors that, you know, did something horrible. You know, really horrible. And they'll shut the hell up. They'll be quiet. Act like it didn't happen. So don't get to know any of your actor friends or whatever. Don't get to know the actors you like because you'll be disappointed. And A lot of the stuff I think that was going on, everybody knew about it. They know. They know. But just who's going to say anything? If you say something, your career is ruined. Just like Barbara Walters when Corey Feldman was trying to talk and she stood up for the industry and said, you're ruining a whole industry. At what point does a movie or a a musician, well, you know, it's that, that stuff's not important. It's really not. You know. Yeah, I would like to make a lot of money and buy nice cars and have sex with nice pretty women. But, <laughs> you know, uh, what do these people do? You know. You know. If they do it, 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 crappy stuff, you know, and, and they know about it, but they don't say anything. I could have died on many sets. Do you know people have died on Walking Dead? Really, died. Deadpool 2, do you know that a, um, a, a black stunt woman, her first feature film was Deadpool 2. She died for this, for the driving scene for Ryan Reynolds. She was riding the motorcycle, whatever, scooter. She hit a curb and she went through the plate glass window. She died. That whole movie's about love and family. But you don't see her name at the end. Credits. But if that was Heath Ledger, oh, I love Heath Ledger, but I'm just saying, you know, Heath Ledger, you know, big titles at the end, but this black woman, because she was just a stunt double, the most realistic people in the industry are the makeup artists. I met Steve Laporte. He did the makeup for Beetlejuice, and actually it was just the teeth. He did the teeth, Lost Boys. He did the makeup for Lost Boys. And right next to him was the woman that did the makeup for Slimer. She did Slimer. But um, I was talking to those guys. And they, and they were like, it's very political here. Don't say anything. Like, you can't say anything as a makeup artist. You have to be quiet because if you, you know, 
piss off. You know, goddamn, fucking who's a fucking, you know, uh, fucking Jude Law or something. What did you say? What? What? I don't, I don't want to, where the fuck are my grapes on my damn table? What the fuck are these strawberries doing here? They'll flip out about everything. Bunch of pre-Madonnas. But I've, I've had actors that have done stuff looking at me, asking me to put them in movies. That's how hard the industry is. People that I have looked up to in the industry, people that I have loved watching for years, now telling me, I like your movie idea. Make it. I want to be in it. Write it for me. No money, no contacts. What? <sighs> you know, Tom Hanks said, you know, it'd be hard as nails to be in this industry. And that's true because I got turned down by the fucking makers of Sharknado. Sharknado, and just to get there, I had to step over like four homeless people. And I asked if they were okay, but I was also afraid they were gonna stab me in the face. <sighs> Realistically, it's a nightmare out there. Films are great, but you don't wanna know. Like The Wizard of Oz, do you know what they said to Judy Garland? His name's not even, her name's not even fucking Judy. It's Francis. I believe they were horrible to her. They starved her. Her mom starved her. The fucking man, the, the manager at the time called her dad a faggot. <laughs> said she was a flat foot. Judy Garland was beautiful. They said they called her the little hunchback. Judy Garland is beautiful. What the that's why I saw Judy, Judy died at like 40 something. They don't care about Leonardo DiCaprio and Johnny Depp. Of course you know what they do care about. They care about them because of their money. As soon as they stop making money, they're fucking out. Out. The actors no, don't only even act. They don't just act on camera. They act off camera too. They try to act like the most beautiful people. And they'll cry if you tell them your story. <laughs> so beautiful. Full of shit. <sighs> These actresses like Jonathan Brandis, and Chester, Robin Williams, they, they're, they're killing themselves because of Hollywood. And everything. It's not it's part of it's not just that, it's but it's also Hollywood. A lot of it's that. And the people that they probably seen stuff. I'm not saying this to ruin your day, I'm just saying sorry. Also, I forgot who it was. I think it was I think it was Charlie Sheen. But he's apparently had sex with Corey Feldman's friend who also passed away. Um oh, fucking uh, Corey Feldman. Corey Haim. Corey Haim. He had sex with him. I think it was during Lost Boys. And then Sam came back over to him, and he shunned him. <sighs> but he was in Two and a Half Men, though, wasn't he? <laughs> and then Corey Feldman goes out there and talks about that very bravely. Talks about that, you know, the whole thing with kids. And he shunned, and they see him doing his dancing because he likes. He used to. Be, you know, be with Michael Jackson and like Michael Jackson. And they're, they're fucking tearing him down. Why? He's just trying to defend children. And they're tearing him down. I'm not saying I'm Mr. fucking Jesus Christ, but... I'm just saying, like, they don't, they don't care. I could have died more than once. Call of Duty could have fell through the dam. Took us on this two Corey, you know, fucking mean. Kobe Bryant was there. 
Jimmy Kimmel was there. They were probably protected, but they had my ass run to a building with a big hole at the top. And we had to run across it. And I'm like, if I slip, I'm going to die or be really hurt. There was no padding. And this was a multi-million dollar commercial. Look it up. Call of Duty. There's a soldier in all of us. There's, you know, I was on uh, another movie called Painted Black. I tripped, I tripped, and fell, and there was a big mosh pit. They actually gave people, and also, you don't know this, people don't know this. Maybe you know this, because you're smart, but you have to be 25 to do alcohol commercials. Not 21, 25. 25. That's right. So... They actually gave everybody beer on this movie. Everybody. And everybody, I was, in, I was in a mosh pit. I got pushed and some final destination shit happened. I hit my head on a wall and there was a nail right there. And looking at it. <sighs> Could have died. I was out there filming something else and it was during the riots for all the black people. I guess that black man got shot or a black kid got shot. They had us all stay inside the building because they said black people were throwing bricks at white people. I went outside anyway because I thought, what the hell? Have you ever seen Walking Dead and all the zombies uh, are everywhere? Like millions of them. That was all the black people on the freeways, on the streets. No, fuck. They were throwing shit. I had to run to the fucking car like I was the fucking, you know, the, the T-1000, whatever, from Terminator 2. You know? Yeah. I didn't get paid, you know. I, I, I they, they paid people there. They were like, you left. And I'm like, I was afraid for my life. And they didn't pay me. Though I, also, <laughs> there's other people that do bad, you know, they're not directors. They're directors of background. I'm going to throw his name out. Bill Dance. Brick. He'll act like big shit. He did the background for From Dust Till Dawn. He did the background from the Mortal Kombat movie from the 90s. But he'll act like hot shit. I told him off. <laughs> and he didn't say anything. I was on the bus and I was like, I can't find, I'm on the goddamn bus and I can't find the location in Santa Monica where I'm supposed to be at. And he said, well, it's not my job. I'm like, what are you talking about? This, that's his only fucking job is to help us actors background. Don't call it background extras, by the way. They'll get pissed to call them background actors. But, um, yeah. Yep. He was like, I don't have to help you. And I said, that's all you do is help actors. Dumbass. Like, I didn't say dumbass, but... It's like politics. Do you know why not make not many good people are in politics? Because they try to get in and they see how fucking corrupt it is. And they can't do it. They don't want to go any further. And they're like, fuck it. I'd rather live a normal life and drink myself to death. I'm Stephen Ang, bringing you a little bit of reality into the industry. Have a good one.